Friday Writing Challenge. Let's think for a moment about some of those conversations that drag and you want to get out of them and you're looking, can somebody please call me and tell me it's an emergency? You don't really want that to happen. But then let's think about some of the conversations where they just zip, 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 zip. And you're feeling such great connection and a sense of community. Maybe for your Friday writing challenge this time, do an example of a dialogue of the first kind of conversation that just drags and you want out of it or you want to be anywhere but there. And then a conversation with your characters that go and they're just so full of connection that they enliven you and they, they fill you up and they build up your energy. And therein then lies maybe another little hidden mini Friday writing challenge in this other one about those two conversations is that might be how you describe or define or identify energy vampires. If you haven't heard that term before, energy vampire, a quick little uh, definition of that might be when you're with people and you will feel more up and more energized and happy and like you could do anything after spending time with a person. There's probably a 99.99999% chance that that person is not an energy vampire or that activity is not an energy vampire. However, if you are in a conversation with somebody that you can't wait to get out of that you feel like oh after or an activity that you feel like oh after it then that is an energy vampire and as far as activities go some of that energy vampirism we actually do to ourselves so that might be a Friday writing challenge is to write about the activities that you've cut out of your life because you've realized they didn't do you any good and this works for fiction really well too because your characters you want them to have some habits right you want them to have some likable habits you might want them to have some despicable habits and this little clue of energy vampires might actually help you characterize the people on your page a little bit more in depth so go where you want to with that and have fun and go right bye for now